Scientist Robert Boyle was born on January 5th, 1627, in the Lismore Castle in Waterford County, Ireland. He was born into a wealthy, Protestant family, contrary to the majority of Catholic peasants in Ireland. After his mother died, his father sent him away to Eton College to continue his education in England. After finishing his education, he began to construct and test his new theories on gas and pressure with his new assistant, Robert Hooke. At the time, chemistry did not exist, only alchemy. They searched to find the Philosopher's Stone, a magical element that would turn any day items into gold. At the time, it was also common belief that all things were made up of four elements, either water, air, earth, or fire. Boyle's Law states that as pressure increases, volume decreases, and as pressure decreases, volume increases. With the end of the syringe plumbed, the syringe is a closed system. As the pressure increases, the volume inside the syringe decreases and the balloon shrinks. As the pressure is released, the balloon returns to its original size. In 1661, Boyle published a book called The Skeptical Chemist, where for the first time, alchemy was referred to as chemistry. In this book, Boyle suggested his modern theory of how one particle made up everything in the universe. Boyle was also the first scientist to encourage other scientists to be humble and to share their work and admit mistakes. His ideas helped create the modern scientific method that we use today. Besides being a man of science, Boyle was also a man of God. He believed that God created Earth for man to discover the truth. Boyle studied the Bible because he believed that all people should have a basis of evidence for their faith. Boyle spent much of his time translating the Bible into many different languages. He also translated the Bible into the Gaelic language from Ireland that the peasants spoke. This was contrary to the government's intentions as they were trying to outlaw the Gaelic language and encourage English. In 